All right, check it out. New Whopper, brand new from the folks over at Burger King. That's BK if you're in the know. They have just launched a new Whopper, the Candied Bacon Whopper. And it's more than just candied bacon. There's some other things on there. Is it gonna be too much? Will it be too much on the iconic Whopper? We're gonna check it out. It's in this bag right here. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very candy. Very candied. I could be very candied and very persuasive. So let's go. Sweet bacon jam. A lot of napkins. Garlic aioli. Candied bacon. Crispy onions. That's what we got. No cheese either. No cheese. I had a little. It had a little spin. Check out the um, slow mo footage. No cheese. I had a little spin. Had a little curve to it. All right. So here it is. That's the wrapper right there. No fanfare. I will tell you, my local Burger King, along with the four others in a 20-minute area, no. They didn't have any of the signage up. It wasn't on the app. But today, I don't know if you're seeing this today or the next day, but on the 30th of January was the day it was supposed to launch uh, nationally. And um, I don't know. But this uh, location actually had all the ingredients and had a way to ring it up on the system. So they made the sandwich. I don't know. Is it a sandwich? They made the burger for me. And it is piping hot. Let me give you the first look out of the wrapper. All right, it is burning the tips of my fingers. We're gonna check out the new candied bacon Whopper. Here we go. All right, so I just filmed the thumbnail. Uh, check it out right there. This is what we got going on with the candied bacon Whopper. It's interesting that they didn't add a slice of cheese on the uh, original build. I mean, you can obviously add a slice of cheese if you like, but uh, let me just fix this tomato right here. Seems to be about ready to um, escape Shawshank right there. But uh, let me give you a look at the top. You see some of the uh, crispy onions. There's the bacon. And then um, garlic aioli and the bacon jam on the top. I don't know. Maybe I should have asked for a little side of bacon jam. Because to me, that's probably going to be the standout star. All right, wish me luck. We're going right into the candied bacon. You see it right there. A new Whopper, Texas Whopper, Halloween Whopper, Ghost Pepper Whopper, bunch of Whoppers. So here we go, candied bacon, Burger King, BK. Let's go. Mm hmm Take a look. Hmm. Couple thoughts running through my head. Not bad. Sweetness involved from the bacon jam and the uh, candied bacon. But I don't know if it's me, but there's something, I don't know, something a little off. I mean, nothing crazy, but that patty. I haven't had Burger King in a while, but that patty, I don't know. It's not that normal flame broiled flavor and texture that I'm used to, but maybe it's just been a while for me. But that sweetness is on point. I love me a good uh, garlic aioli. So I'm a fan of the garlic aioli with the uh, bacon jam. And then you put into the um, mix this new candied bacon. Um, let me try a piece of this candied bacon on its own. A little bite, a little bite see. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's some quality bacon. Crunchy. Salty. Sweet. That's really good. I wish they would sell like a pack of that, you know, like Dunkin' does. That's probably better than the uh, Dunkin' uh, candy bacon, if I had to uh, say so myself, which I did. 
second bite. That bacon jam is money too. Just something about the patty. Something about Mary. Right there. One more look. It's good. It's a hearty bite. Cost me $7.39. Yeah. Want to see the back end? Check out the back end. There's more bacon right there. See it? All right, so it's good. It's different. You have to enjoy sweet, though. Yeah. All right, so listen. Um, for just under $8, it's a decent uh, Whopper. I am giving them a nice little kudos that they've uh, kind of gone outside the box with the bacon jam and candied bacon. Uh, there are not a lot of fast food spots taking chances with things like this, with the bacon jam and candied bacon. So you just gotta like a little bit of sweetness. I mean, if you watch this channel, you know, you know I'm just saying, a little sweet sometimes. Sometimes I'm a little sweet. Sometimes I'm a little spicy. All right, so there you go. If I had to give it a rating, which I do, one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the new Candied Bacon Whopper from Burger King, BK, if you're in the know, those are abbreviations, I'm going to give this burger a rating of. If you watch the channel enough, I'm not a huge uh, fan. I shouldn't say that. I like the Whopper, but I like the Big Mac more. That's what I grew up on, but that's still a nice version of the Whopper. I enjoy sweet. I enjoy bacon jam. That is a solid 89. Just misses the 90 barrier. You are almost able to log in into your endorsement notebooks, but I kind of reeled it in. But it has potential to be a 90. I think a slice of cheese would have been good. I don't know. Swiss. Maybe throw in some Gouda. How about throw in some Gouda? You're mixing it up with some quality top ingredients with some bacon jam and candied bacon. Throw some Gouda up in here. Burger King. I don't know. I don't know if that would work, but um, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, what a way to end the month. You're either seeing this on the 30th or you're seeing this on the 31st, which is the last day of the month. We're hitting February and February is a leap year. If you were born on a leap year, comment below. And how old are you? Technically, how old are you if your birthday is every, what is it, four years? Is that what leap year is? All right, thank you so much. Light up the comments about this burger. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if your location is actually selling it. Go on your app and say, yes, endorsement. They are actually selling it because none of mine were actually selling it where you can go and buy it. And like I said, I made a phone call and a manager answered and said, well, we have the stuff. If you come in, we'll uh, put it together for you. And they did a little boop, 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 boop on the uh, register, 739 out the door. I've talked enough.